Good morning. It's 9 a.m. Friday, November 17th, 2023. Welcome to the Good News, live at 9 on Facebook and available later on our YouTube channel. Please be sure to comment in the chat. This is a presentation of the Allen Park Presbyterian Church. Good morning, everyone. I'm Suzanne Maxley. I'm an elder at Allen Park Pres, and my co-host is Carrie Van. And among other things, she's the moderator of the Deacons. She's a certified social media expert, and she's a communications manager at APPC. Good morning, Carrie. You're nice and in the pink and dark red. <laughs> Good morning, and thank you for that wonderful introduction. I'm going to save that for days when I feel overwhelmed and just read that to myself. And good morning to you as well and to everyone who's watching. I'm going to look to the side and turn on the show real quick. And everyone who's watching. There we go. I got rid of that. All right. I'm going to pull this over so I can see what's going on. And you can let Allison in when the time is right. So good morning to everyone. Wow, lots of people watching already. We have a lot going on. We have a lot going on at the church, don't we, Suzanne? Oh yeah. It's overwhelming, in fact. <laughs> yes, we have a ton, ton, ton of fun stuff. I know I've been posting about this every day, but the Culver's fundraiser has been a fun and easy way to earn money for our food pantry. Everyone has been going and telling their friends this is the easiest fundraiser in the world. I am going later this afternoon before the parade and game night. So I can't wait to get another one. Hoo -hoo. But remember, every dollar goes to our food pantry. Can't wait to find out how many mixers they've sold this week. So speaking of busy days, let me just try to roughly go through what's happening. Tonight, the church is going to be driving the bus in the parade. And one of our deacons, uh, Santa Judy, has been busy making some cute things for anyone. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning, Norma. Um, for anybody who'd like to join us, we have room for a few more people. So if you would like to park your car at the church, get on the bus, drive through the parade and be brought back to the church, you can wear some antler ears that have sparkling lights. Judy has made uh, bells that you can put on your wrist, hang out of the window and shake those bells and just wave to all the kids and the people watching the parade. So if you would like to go, you would have to be at the church between 5 and 5.15, but you probably should let me know just so we don't have too many and no one's disappointed. But we have more room. Just join us. And then what happens after the parade, Suzanne? Well, we have game night, but first we have to see Santa. So there's Santa with the bell tower. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. That's from last year. And how cool is that? So after you see Santa come through, whether you're watching in front of the church, um, then it's time to come in, warm up. Hi, Sue Tucker. Um warm up and play board games yes they have, they have extended Same night <laughs> yes and they have extended the, they have extended the hours a half hour which makes me happy because i'm always trying to make it go longer anyway yeah. so here here's your day go to culver's and get a mixer anywhere between 10 o'clock and 11 p.m come watch the parade in front of the church or ride in the bus then go to game night and wow, after all of that, you've had a great day of fun and fellowship. Yep. And speaking of Santa, we were speaking of Santa, right? <laughs> sort of, yes. Oh, sort Santa of. ends the parade tonight. Um, and if your little ones would like a letter from Santa this year, the National Honor Society at Allen Park High School is helping Santa by collecting all the kids' letters to Santa so he can write back before Christmas. Now we have a little graphic for that. Morning, Kevin. And I'm sorry for anyone who I didn't mention. We go letters to Santa. So oh, if you... Little one. If, yes, write your letter to Santa. Make sure you put your name and your full, your full name and address on it. 
And there is a box at the city hall when you walk in to go and put your letters in for Santa. So that's kind of a fun thing to do. Don't miss out. National Honor Society, the high school is helping with that project. Yes, Norma said she'll be wearing those antler ears and bells tonight. Yes, you will, Norma. Yes, you will. I've already given Norma the heads up last night after grief share. So Norma's fun. She will do it. And you're all going to have fun. Pastor Tim will be there too. So how fun will that be? Well, yes. Um, something on a more serious note. Um, we're all excited about all the holidays coming up and all the fun events. But if you are going through the loss of a loved one, sometimes the holidays are hard and challenging. Uh, Norma Batley and I are hosting a grief, a special grief share surviving the holidays workshop on Monday. So if you would like to go, if you go to our website, you should easily be able to find a link to sign up. If you have problems, just contact me or Norma and we'll help you. There's only a $5 cost for the note for the book that comes with the class. So it'd be great if you ordered now so you'd have it. But even if you don't, it's a good thing to keep with you. So please feel free to join us um, for that special um, grief share. All right. Our next thing is we've been talking about the leaves falling, 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 and they've been doing that. And we have a young person who is helping out with that. Mr. Ben Nimi will rake your leaves. If they've fallen and you want them raked, the time's running out. So um, give Ben and his dad, Chris, a call, actually call Chris, and they will come out and rake your leaves. And all they ask is you donate something to Camp Wakanda. So here's the phone number. Yep. So go ahead and do that because we might have leaves still on the trees, but a big wind could take them all down and then you're really going to need some help. So why not get your leaves right and donate to Camp Wakanda? Ooh, Pastor Tim has joined us. Amen. Pastor Tim, um, came to Grief Share last night and helped us with a difficult topic with our Grief Share um, guests. And we're very appreciative that, that Pastor Tim helped us out last night. It was a very, very good meeting. Thank you. All right, we need to keep going so we can get our special guest in. Um, next week, there's a card making class on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Um, if you'd like to do that, please get a hold of Linda Clark. Um, it's a really fun thing to do. It's fun to craft and it's fun to learn how to make new things. And Linda is definitely an expert at card making. Her cards are beautiful. So please let her know the $5 donation for the class goes to our food pantry as well. So it's a great cause and a fun time. And it's in the morning, 10 to 12. And we're, we're heading up to that period of time when Advent is coming. December 3rd is the first day of Advent. And if you're interested in being a candle lighter and reader during worship, please send me an email and we'll get you on the schedule. All right. Hey, let's let Allison in. All right. Can you Maybe do it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I got to find that music. Huh? Yes. <laughs> Pastor Tim said that's what I do, but he does it well with compassion. Yay. <laughs> Well, she must have great. Hi, Allison. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. You must have great internet because you came right in like a, oh. like a rocking oh. ball. No, <laughs> no, no connecting to, inter to audio or anything. Oh, that's awesome. It is such a pleasure to have Allison Taylor Cave with us this morning. I have known her, I'm not going to say since she was a little girl, but <laughs> for a very long time and it's just so wonderful to be able to um find out what our long-term members you were baptized at the church right allison i was yeah so here she is a, a, a grown woman now who is a <laughs> wonderful addition to everything she puts her hands on we just got back from a fun work camp we did yeah we did that was so much fun that was amazing to see uh so many people and we had a great time. Yes, we really, really did. We, we had just such a great crowd of diversified people. It was just such a great thing to do. 
Um, Allison's parents are Guy and Joanne Taylor. I think everyone knows that, but you never know. <laughs> Susan McCausland said, good morning, Allison. Good and morning, so did, Susan. And so did Norma Bentley and Barry and Margo. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. I said hi, too. Yeah. <laughs> hi, Suzanne. It's great to see you all. Yeah, so so did you, you get up on the roof when they were putting the roofs on? Oh, no, not me. <laughs> not you. Okay. Yeah, I well, wouldn't either. <laughs> <laughs> I might have ended up on the ground. <laughs> so what was your part at the work camp? Um, I did um I did some staining on the infirmary. Oh, okay. oh that was my uh that was most of my gig. <laughs> yep, and we we've been working on this infirmary, it seems like forever, and it is so close to it's like a new cabin now. We can't wait to have that. I mean, there's a whole new cabin at Camp Oconda. Like, how amazing is that? Yeah, so. and it looks really great, you know, because it's got, um, with you know, the cedar, and um, it's a unique one because it has, um, you know, two rooms, one on the right, one on the left, and then a bathroom in the middle. So um, having that bathroom in there is really, really nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm it's, all about <laughs> indoor plumbing. Yeah, yeah right. Exactly. Because uh, I, I actually stay for shipmates because, you know, it grows. Um, I stay in the McKee. And uh, so um, that might be uh, the next one that I move into because uh, I'm like, I'm getting a little old uh, to uh, wake up in the middle of the night and use the bathhouse. So. Yes. And, in, and Allison is right because I've been in Benfeld and McKee with like third and fourth graders and they always have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. <laughs> and, so you have to be the brave one that you know walks on down there unless you can wake your junior counselor up, which is the goal, was to wake them up and make them do it. But you don't want to get the whole cabin, you know, it took forever to get them all to sleep. You don't want to sleep. So yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. And then, you know, it's usually cool in the morning and I'm like, well, now I'm up. <laughs> yes, no, you got that. Yeah, you got that right. So yeah, a brand new cabin with two bedrooms and a bathroom. It's like a dream come true. <laughs> so Allison has been hard at work and a very fun thing that is going to happen on December 3rd, which is the first Sunday in Advent. So I'm going to let you talk about it, and then we'll ask you questions. Yeah, you know, um, it's definitely not just me. We have a whole team um, and uh, can always use help for volunteers. But it's, um, yeah, it's on Sunday. It's actually the first day of Advent. So um, really, really good timing. Um, you know, a lot of people may um recognize it from years before um so it's from four to six in the fellowship hall um setup is from three to four and then you know clean up after but um we're gonna have some pizza um from four four to four thirty um nick fujetti is going to provide some live music so he's gonna bring his guitar and we're gonna have a little sing along and then um just pizza and um uh, we have about eight crafters um, providing a craft. So sign up is going to start um, on Sunday. We're going to have a table in the narthex with samples and you can sign up and um, uh, and online as well. So I think that's the goal is for Sunday at least. So we can have um, a couple of ways to sign. If you'd like to sign up for a craft, um, cost will be determined um, while, you know, we're still figuring that out. It'll be determined based on sign up, um, knowing, you know, how many supplies, uh, will be required, but, um, so, but that, you know, the crafters will be, um, determining the cost. Based and, on and the costs are very minimal. They're like, like two to three to $4 a craft. And if you don't know, if you don't remember the craft workshop from years past, it was just a fun night to get together and listen to Christmas music. And, and sitting at a station and working on a craft. Uh, Allison said there's going to be uh, crafts for young children. And there they can are, make- Yeah, um, so what, we're gonna have a table for kids and then, you know, the kids are able to do any of, send for any of the crafts they want to. And, um, you know, in terms of the uh, cost for the craft, you know, some are minimal, but others, you know, some might take just a few minutes and then others, you know, if you might be like, um, might take you know the full hour and a half so um so you can sign up for one um all of them or if you know if you don't have to craft at all either you know um just come and have fun I mean, attending, you know, 
Yeah, you can. Yeah, you, you know, can. and yeah, you don't have to craft at all. So it's you know, it's a good in all ages. So it's one of those you know, all everybody in the congregation can just come, and you know, the goal is just to have fun and spend time together and kick off the whole holiday season. And uh, Ooh, so listen to these, listen to these, listen to these comments, Allie. Um, Patty Johnson said, "So happy this is being brought. I have back. I have fond memories as a kid going to this." Pastor awesome, Daddy. Pat, uh, Pastor Tim said there's so much excitement about this returning, um, this um, APPC Advent tradition. I agree. Um, Wade's dad, Patrick, said great event. And Carrie Ann said, sounds great. And everyone is welcome. The Fellowship Hall is big. Um, if you if you are not familiar with Nick Fugetti, he goes by Nick James Music. And he has been... Uh, co-leading the 530 Christmas Eve service with Pastor Tim. And he is wonderful, fantastic. So the Christmas Carol sing-along with him. I know Matt Carlson and our tech team will, will be providing Christmas music while you craft, which I think I have oh. a typo. In the bulletin, it says Christmas music craft to craft by and I don't know just ignore it when you see it no but, I like that I like that I like that a lot so yeah, yeah. Uh, big thank you to Matt who's, uh, for doing that right so I'm Alice and I have been working on like an actual page on our website so that is going to be up this weekend um as Tim always says if the creek doesn't rise and all that kind of fun stuff but it, yes it will just got to get through this busy day and then you know tomorrow's another day right yeah. And you'll be able to easily share that page. We'll have pictures of the crafts, um, the costs if they're known. Um, just come and have fun with us. It's going to be great. And, yes, it's and I do promise that um, I know we have big requests for the smell of live greens. And that is my goal. I'm going to make those live greens happen because. Uh, <laughs> that sounds really, really great. We, we are going to get in because Advent is going to be very quick this year. There's four Sundays in Advent, but the fourth Sunday ends up being on Christmas Eve. So once you get through Thanksgiving, I mean, it is going to fly by. So what better way than to start our Advent in fellowship and having fun together and enjoying each other's company while we're making fun crafts? Some people, I think even including you, Allison, still have your crafts from the years past, correct? Yes, um, I do not, but my parents still do. They still put them out. And, <laughs> and I know your dad is is um, leading a couple of crafts. He is, so yeah, he yeah. does have a few. So, um, yeah, if anybody in the next few weeks is decorating and stumbles upon uh, some of the crafts that they did. Yes, please. Love to see yeah, them. Share, <laughs> share them in our Facebook group. Send them to us so we can see them. We would mm -hmm. love to see them. So that, that would be a cool thing to do too. A very cool thing to do. So again, that's going to be four to six on December 3rd. Um, if you are the volunteering type that likes to set up tables and help with that, I'm sure Allison and her team would appreciate help us set up and clean up because that's always part of every good event, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Great. somebody's calling me i'm sorry um it's never ending so allison tell us a little bit about yourself what 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 have you been up to um you know i so i was a member of the church for gosh 20 22 years and then um my husband and i uh moved away for um for quite a while um and uh just came back and um you know my father-in-law was a, a lutheran minister so um you know we normally went up to um warren where he where his church was and then um they retired and moved to texas and so and then the pandemic hit and so um i've only really been back about um maybe a month or two two months so, um, you know, it's been really great. You know, you get into that, um, you know, you, working during the week and everything, you know, you get into that habit and then, uh, um, you know, going to church again that first time and, uh, 
was great. It was like I had never left. And, um, you know, the one thing I, you know, the first walking in the doors that just what hit me for the most, I think was like the greeters, you know, they, um, that warm welcoming entrance and, you know, they greet you with a smile and hold the door open for you. And, um, felt like you were back was amazing. Home? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Sue, what'd you say? Did you feel like you were back home? I did. I did. I really did. You know, um, one of those, why didn't I do this sooner? And so, um, you know, it's just been great coming back and seeing everybody and, um, meeting new people that so many new people the last few, two months. It's been wonderful. Well, you seem like you've jumped in with both feet. You're on committees and you're planning things. And <laughs> yeah. They said yeah. you could never go home. They're wrong, <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh, right gone. back in it but no it's it's been fun yeah it's you're like everyone's dream um church family person because you'll try new things like you volunteered to help sort food for the food pantry this week um you're on the capital campaign committee with me i think i like i don't know if i forced you but it's great having you <laughs> and, no no it's been great <laughs> <laughs> it just it's just so great when people get involved because there's a sense of what she just said. When you walk in, you're greeted and you feel like an important part of something that's bigger than you can, you know, put your finger on. And I always encourage anyone to let us know what, what you'd like to do and we'll find you a place and you will feel so much better about everything, knowing that you're contributing and making new friends and helping other people in some cases. So I just, it's just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing to do. We appreciate you. We're so happy that you have come home. No, thank you for welcoming me back. <laughs> yes, always. We always welcome everyone back. Um, I didn't even know you moved away. So I've just learned something on the good news <laughs> today myself. I did. Yeah, we moved to uh, Indianapolis and then uh, Chicago suburbs for... Um, and I didn't, I didn't know that your husband's father was a minister either. So, I mean, that's really cool. I remember when you were just a teen, um, you were very involved with youth group and you were Kirk Miller's assistant and we did things together and I always loved your style and I still do, Allison. Mm -hmm. well, Hard for me to call you Allison, but I always call you Allie, but <laughs> I, uh, I realize that people grow up and we should call them by their names at, at the whole box, right? Yeah. Well, right back so, at you. We appreciate all that you do as well. Thank you. Um, we found out that on December 3rd, it's another one of those days we can plan for you. I'll, I'll, I'll lay it out and then Sue has a graphic. Come to church first Sunday in Advent. Still need a candle reader and a lighter. Come to church then you've got some time to go to lunch. You can <laughs> gotta go to lunch it's Sunday. Yeah, gotta go to you, lunch. <laughs> you can go to lunch. If you have kids, you can go home and get them dressed up. You can go across the street to Zeal Credit Union, and they have a huge basement, and they are going to have free professional photographs with Santa and a, a small vendor show. So you can go there and that's from one to five. So if you go early and you plan your time correctly, then you can come right to the Advent workshop and make an entire great first day of Advent. So we'll be uh, posting more about this, but they will have professional photos and they want to make sure that everyone can afford to have a photo with Santa. So it's going to be free and a professional photographer. So Looking forward to that event, and you can just come right across the street and go to the fellowship hall. Thanks for putting that up, Sue. You're welcome, Miss Carey. <laughs> All right. Well, we have babbled on through yes. our half hour, as we always do. If you have any questions about anything we talked about, because sometimes I can't gauge if I'm talking too fast or saying things people don't understand. Um, so anybody's confused, just let Sue or I know and we'll fill you in. Norma Bentley said, thank you for your interview this morning, Allison, and for bringing the Advent tradition back to APPC. What a great thing to be known for, right? 
yeah. her and her team she's not the kind of person that will take all the credit so <laughs> all right if um anybody else has any questions hurry up and post them for allison and i will ask her um why sue starts going through the end of our show well we usually close with a scripture and we ask allison what her favorite was or one that meant something to her so um she told us Luke 12, 34, which is, let me get in here, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. I love that one. Anything you want to say about that, Allison, or just? Uh, yeah, so, so I know you asked me for a favorite scripture, and I, will be completely honest, I don't really know. I don't really have one. Well, that um, one came to mind, so. <laughs> so I, I, I don't give me too much credit. I kind of Googled <laughs> Advent scripture, scriptures and picked one. So I can't exactly take any credit for it, but um, well, yeah, well, that, one, that one. Yeah, it was uh, something about like purses and where your treasures is and uh, it's like, oh, and Actually, no, I, I don't really <laughs> have anything Allison, meaningful to say. <laughs> Allison, you actually picked a, a, a perfect scripture because we're in the in the time at the church when we have to do the stewardship, which I'm sure Pastor Tim doesn't enjoy that time. A finance committee probably doesn't enjoy that time. But money is a part of life and the church needs money to pay the staff and keep the buildings operating properly and fun ministry and that is a perfect stewardship scripture so it couldn't have been more perfect be thankful for all of our gifts our church family and all the ministries of the church so how perfect god helped you google the right one allison well and the the um it's not chapter the verse <laughs> chapter and verse okay the verse before that is one so luke 33 says sell your possessions and give to the poor provide purses for yourselves that will not wear out a treasure in heaven that will never fail where no thief comes near and no moth destroys for where your treasure is there your heart will be also so that's the wow. whole thing that that you googled yeah wow. can i have that uh can i Sue, will you design that for me so I can frame it? It's uh, so it's great a uh, decluttering motto. I gotta hang it in my closet when I'm uh, <laughs> getting rid of clothes. Like scripture, so versatile. Yeah, Sue. Sue will be. I'll need a copy you. of that too. <laughs> yeah, so Sue will be happy if anyone else wants one to frame. Just let us know. That yeah, that'll a be, reminder. Give this. That'll to be our, I need get rid of. There we go. All right. So we just um. Uh, volunteered Sue for a thing to design this. So can, <laughs> anybody wants a copy, just let us know. We'll send it to you. You can frame it to remind you. Tracy Cross said, "Amen." With a question <laughs> point. All right, we um we could just keep going and solve all the problems of the world, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but we know everybody probably has to um get to whatever they need to do today. There's a lot going on. Please oh, yeah. volunteer to come drive in the bus with us. You, you'll be sitting in a warm bus. Well, if you have the windows down, it might be a little cold. Wear your coat. But you get to like shake bells out the window and wave to all the people watching the parade and then come to game night. And if you have any questions, please let us know. And if you'd like to right. learn more about the good news, be sure to join Pastor Tim for devotions. And he's live at nine, Monday through Thursday on Facebook. <clears throat> and join us for sure Sundays at 10 a.m. for worship. It's live streamed on Facebook and YouTube or in person in our beautiful sanctuary in Allen Park, Michigan. And I will give you a hug if you would like. <laughs> so, we hope you will join us next Friday for the good news live at nine. And remember, you are a beloved child of God. God loves you. And so do we. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, Allison, for joining us. Everyone have guys. a great day. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye.